Thank you for joining us. Today, we are continuing our conversation with Maya and Aladino on their sailing magic carpet adventure. You had mentioned that uh, in your previous boat, you had an AC panel with the reverse Polari light. Uh, can you explain to others why you think that's an important feature? Ooh, I think you'd be better at this. <laughs> uh, I can. I'm fine. Um, from my understanding, it's just because a lot of the, or not a lot, but some of the docks we went to had reversed polarity, like their wiring was just done incorrectly. So so to, to put it simply, from my understanding, it's just some devices can handle it, some devices burn out. So if you plug in something with reverse polarity, you might burn that device or burn. Yeah, out. so yeah. reverse polarity, uh, Maya brought a good point, happens actually a lot more often than we'd all like. Uh, reverse polarity is where the hot and the neutral are uh, basically swapped, right? Uh, so what that means is, you know, it's a little bit like, you know, imagine if you had a front door and a back door and in a home and you always would come through the front door and always leave through the back door, right? It's almost like there's an entry and there's an exit and you can never leave through the entry. You always have to leave through the exit. Now you could... Um, and this is where it gets dangerous, you could power an AC circuit on the through the exits, go through the load, and then leave the load and go through what used to be the entry as your exit. And that's really what reverse polarity is. It's someone um, at the dock has actually swapped the hot for the neutral and the neutral for the hot. Now, you know, it's a little bit more important than just some loads might burn out, it gets a lot more serious than that. Um, there's risk of electrocution uh, with reverse polarity because um, what happens is um, you never, once, first of all, multiple things. Once, once you energize the neutrals, think about how we do certain things even with the positive or the DC side, right? When you think about energizing any circuit, it could be a water pump, a hot water heater, it doesn't matter. What you're doing is you're effectively stopping current from going into the device before it gets to the device. You're actually starting it at the source, right? And so you start at the source, you're not letting any current go through any of the device. And really in most cases, especially on an AC panel, what we're doing is Besides the main breaker, we're only turning, we only have one circuit break, right? So we're stopping the entry of current before it even gets onto the circuit. Now, if you've got a reverse polarity and the hot is uh, now a neutral and the neutral is a hot, what you're actually doing, your panel is energized, but now all your AC loads actually have current. Not, they don't have current, but they have voltage in them, right? They're all energized, right? The only thing is there's no current going through because you're stopping them from actually exiting mm. by getting back, but it's yeah. actually come in through the device. So all the devices where you would think they would be de-energized because the breaker is off wouldn't matter. They actually the are. whole circuit would be energized. What you're doing is you're stopping the current from being, it's almost there. And then it's just, you turn the breaker on. And now, so now if you were going to, let's say, play with a hot water heater, right? And you're, you know, breaker is off and you're like, oh, it's all fine. It doesn't matter. There's That's no it. current to the device. Well, what you don't realize is there's no current. that Yes, there's no current flowing through the device, but the whole device is energized, right? So if you're there, um, the neutral would be the hot. And so the whole thing would be there just waiting for the current to be let through at the panel. So that's one reason why reverse polarity is really important. And uh, definitely all new panels have reverse polarity lights. Um, that's one thing. And the other issue too is what happens is, and this is pretty important, is that unfortunately uh, on land, um, in many installations, uh, what some people do is they do a, and they're not supposed to do this, uh, but they do this because they just don't know. They're doing a connection between the AC neutral and the AC ground thinking that both of them should be tied together on the boat. And the moment they do that, and this is something that is probably on 5%, maybe a little, not production boats, but boats after they've left the factory get, you know, obviously modified and updated and changed and worked on. 
about probably 5% of the boats that we do electrical audits. What happens there, which is interesting, is that you end up having the neutral and the ground tied together, and they shouldn't. And if they are, and you have a reverse polarity, then your battery, your engine, uh, everything, your chain plates, everything that was grounded is now energized with 120. Oh, wow. Yeah. So two little errors make a big error. And so that's why reverse polarity is a big, now you won't have that problem because you're not going to make that second simple mistake, right? But making the first simple mistake does happen, not all the time, but here where we are, I'd say maybe 5%, 10% of the docks that I connect to when I'm traveling around will have reverse polarity. And uh, that's fine, you know, as long as you're not, you know, you shouldn't, but if things work and that's why, you know, there's not a big issue that comes out of it. Where it gets really bad is if you're playing around with your AC system and you have reverse polarity, you might get yourself in danger. And then if you've got an error on your boat where someone shouldn't have done it, but they did, and they tied your AC neutral to your AC ground, um, you could be in a lot of trouble. Totally. Of trouble. And it's a pretty simple solution to it though. So everybody check your... Yeah, reverse polarity. <laughs> and by the way, it's simple. You know, I, yeah, remember totally. I didn't understand that. It's literally a light, an LED light that's at 120 volts. Uh, that is between your ground and your neutral. Mm -hmm. And as we know, uh, if two things are at zero, uh, you know, you connect a light to a negative post and a negative post, the light's not going to work. You, yep. connect a, you connect a light to something that's zero and something suddenly that has voltage, the light will be bright or dimly bright. And that's basically what a reverse polarity light is. It's only basically a light that is should never be turned on. And if it is, it means that effectively your neutral is energized and it shouldn't. So there you go. Also, so, the reverse polarity um, fans run backwards, right? That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, because that happened to us in the Netherlands. Oh, I see. And our heater was running backwards. And yeah, then we were getting, that's, that's bad. Yeah, exactly. We were getting concerned that that was dangerous because it, like, it wasn't cooling properly and stuff. Then it just yeah. would get hotter. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Eh? Little things yeah. matter. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned for our next episode with the crew of Sailing Magic Carpet.